This is an emergency, I'm begging urgently, this is a serious case. I do so many readings in less than six months. I done splash all of this oh, wow. on my hands. Wow. That's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot of water. Water to go through. Yeah, but it's for a good cause. All right. As you know, I'm a direct energy reader. Don't believe in reading zodiac signs of birthdays. I ask that you be open with the spirit and have fun. Yeah. Uh, you will begin to answer. Last time, spirit told, told a little bit too much on me. Last time, spirit told a little too much. Yeah. Do you want spirit not to say so much now? Oh no! I, I want. I'm open with the spirit. All right. All right. Well, again, be open with the spirit and have fun. I'm gonna try to put the phone right here. So okay. I really want the camera to get it. Okay. Okay. Now, again, uh, so just to tell you how I like the ancestor reading to work, I'm going to deal you five cards. The first four cards are reserved for feminine energy ancestors, but males can come. And the fourth one, I mean, and the fifth one is reserved for a male, but a female energy can come. I ask okay. that you try to listen to their message instead of trying to figure out who they are. Keep in mind, these people okay. can be dead for one day or one million years, you know? Okay. All right. Oh, what's that noise? You got me next to a uh, speaker? Yeah, I, I have, um, if you, I have my phone that's charging up. And then my, I got to go change my battery on my heart me. On oh. my elevator. I don't know what none of that shit you said is about the heart mate L bag and none of that stuff, but take your time and go do that there. Just one second. Yeah, take your time. I hope I'm, I didn't dream it. <laughs> no, no, you ain't dreaming. That just, it, 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 it come with the territory. You're okay. All right, I am going okay. to lay down. Yeah, oh. Did, I, did you say your first name so I could pray on them? Oh, uh, no. All right, so your first name so I can pray on. Do I have permission to cut your cards? Yes, you do. Oh, come on now. All right, let's see what's going on. First. Second. Oh, third. Okay. Four, fifth. Okay, ancestors, come on through then. Worker, worker, worker. One, uh huh. Two, three. Oh, 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 oh. four, five. Ah, 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 ah. Don't have me scream like this. <laughs> what the hell going on with you? Call me with nothing. Y'all, y'all don't, don't don't do me like this. Now give me a challenge. Or, or is that bad? That's a damn good. Come on, ancestors. Come through. Show her how y'all love her. Show her how y'all love her. What about this makeup? I want to know when are you going to start putting makeup back on your face? That's all I'm going to ask you. First question. When you going to, how they say getting your face beat? I don't know if that's out of style yet. Oh, my goodness. My best friend has been trying to make me wear makeup for the last couple of days. And I've been telling her no because I don't feel... Uh, feel like I deserve to. Your last guardian angel, she said, "Oh, you better get your face beat." But I'm jumping the gun. That's how good this is. Cause I, I, let me start. Okay. Ooh, boy, I think I need a backy yakking me. Cause <laughs> wait, what? Uh, that's the old Dave Chappelle coming to show, and he told her, "I think I need a backy yakking me." <laughs> And I and I like and I like to make up words. I used to watch Dave Chappelle, yeah. I, I like I like making up words too when I talk. All right, we're gonna start with your first ancestor. Your first ancestor is a male energy, and he comes in the form of Shango. 
Now this is oh, really okay. cool. Wow. Now okay. having him in the form of Shungo, he uh do you want to describe yourself to or do you just want to get a message? He said he had a great voice for narrating. Sort of like uh yeah. he would re either read the Bible, read stories, or either sing. Um, but his voice was so nicely narrated for showmanship. He said that you you heard his voice before, believe it or not. I think I know who that is. Uh, what else you want to tell her? Now, this is what he's saying. Okay. N do you have a husband or a boyfriend? I am right now. He, 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 he already it's complicated. Gotcha. You're dealing with him, right? Yeah. All right. He said, "How soon can you mend this 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 relationship? Make it work?" Because he is saying that this dude has a beautiful voice and he can be a beautiful voice box for you. Well, the, I just met somebody recently. So okay. I don't know if he's talking about the, about the new dude because the, the, my ex who don't want to sign the divorce papers, that's who I'm having a problem with. All right. Get rid of him. Okay, he said, and so I, I don't know who it is, but he used the word mend. And if this ex don't want to divorce, I think that's mending a relationship. But hey, this is what he said. But now, what, your ex that don't want to divorce, let's bring it on home. Can he sing or do he talk real proper? Or do he just, people no. just, huh? He don't talk proper and he can't sing. What's the listen? So why is they saying this person will be a great voice for you? Um, I Like I said, I just met a, a, new, a new guy. And he's kind of shy, but he got a, you know, a real good soul. Like his energy is, his energy is good. So why is spirit giving you, so basically he gave you the health and healing card. So why is he saying this man can speak for you or be your voice or lead, lead you in a way? Something like that. So this new person, he, you, did you tell him about your condition? Yeah, yeah. I did. And did he say that he was he talking about fixing it, seeing what he can do about it, helping you or something like that? Um, he just basically he said he's he, he's there for me, basically is what he's saying. Well, because I also told him about the news I got from my dad, and he, and he he was there for me last night. Well, I because he keep using the word this dude you're dealing with. You, uh, he said you should mend it with him. Now, unless you got into a little argument or something with the with the new dude, slightly, or you stop texting him just for the hell of it, spirit, he, he is saying mend it because the the bottom line, you're gonna need somebody to be a showman for you, to be your voice okay. piece, to be who you feel is uh you know for them to speak for you when you can't speak or when you ain't around. Okay. 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 That's what he's saying. So that that's the question between you. Would you like to ask this card a question? Yeah. Go ahead. Is, is it someone that, is he, has he been deceased since 2000? Or who, who is he? Uh, ask it another way. Okay, um, is it Sean? Uh, we'll use a certain name, but I, I would like when you ask him who it was, I don't like to use a certain name, because spirits do come through and they do, yeah, it's Sean, it's Sean. It okay. could be Sean from three generations ago. You follow me? Oh yeah. yeah, I forgot. I'm so sorry. and and military shine. you say military shine. Oh, last last little tidbit. When you doing these type of readings, don't give a date. Don't give nothing okay. to the spiritual person because it's about them giving you the clues to let you know who this is. Don't give us okay. the clue. Okay. Spirit, who are you? Reveal a little bit more. Reveal a little bit more. Military, what are you? Talk to me. Stay focused. Eyes. Fertility, okay. Listen, uh, even this person got the same birthday as uh as a kid of yours or it uh, the cousin. They birthdays are identical. Huh. I don't know who that is. So okay. mil so military Sean, okay. Okay. Who 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 got the same zodiac sign as military Sean? Uh. Well, I think that's who. It's in the same month. It's in December. Okay. And I think I know what it is. All right. 
he say they got the same birthday or the same birthday month. You know how it go, but they are resonating. Yeah. So that's so if it's military Sean, if you got a kid around you and birthdays in December and military Sean was born in December, this is military Sean. Okay. But he also saying that you need to he you need to so you need to heal something with somebody so they could be your voice piece, speak for you. That'll be, a, I think that's a personal thing because you want a divorce from your ex. Uh, and this new yeah. dude, you ain't did no issues with him. But he's saying this person, like, if he, it ain't that he got a nice voice or he can sing or something. But just say when he talk, motherfuckers listen to him. Yeah. So you got to heal that relationship right there because you're going to need that person to speak up for you soon, okay? Okay. Now we're going to go over here to your, and, and I know I took a long time on that card, but we okay. And now we're going to go over here to your second ancestor. This ancestor is represented another fire card. This ancestor is represented by the three of fire in the upright position. This ancestor say they, they went looking for finances all around the board and they found them. So they saying for you to have search online, search uh, data banks looking for money, they say you actually came across some money or some finances because they was a digger, a hunter, but they saying it's time for you to get a positive change financially because you did the research. And I don't know what research you did. These are their words, not mine. Man, I'm just, okay, I'm, because I, this is something that's very crazy and I don't know if it pertains to it, but I keep seeing, like when I have a, a vision, it just keep E-N-O, which is one spelled backwards. Okay. Um, E N O, one spelled backwards. I get it. Have you researched that? I've been looking. I've been trying to figure out what what that is for the longest. I've been having visions about this for a long time. Well, and then I'm thinking you need to do your research because they saying there's a there's a, a pot of gold, a bag of gold at the end of this damn tunnel, and they said in his message to you because you did the research. You get positive change financially. Mm -hmm. And he and and, and I'm trying to figure out. Go ahead. Because the thing is, there. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to put this in words. Okay. Because I'm trying to figure out how to put this in words. Because it was a, a um a military account that I tapped into years ago, but but lost all the paperwork. So it's like I don't know what's going on with that. That's the reason why I don't understand if that has something to do with that. Because when I see in my vision, it's like a bank statement, and then I can't see what else, what else is on it. Man, if um, you don't if you don't put a glass of water beside your bed at night and and pray with a white candle or a blue candle or hell both in this case, and ask spirit to reveal to you what you're looking at. So you can go get this money because he's saying doing the research you get money. It's a positive change in your life. This don't mean that if it's a military account and you just spoke about military Sean and all this shit. This is no coincidence. You may be sitting on some cheese and you don't even know. Okay. Do the daggone research. Would you like to ask him a question? Yes. I mean, because uh, it, it, it's uh, uh, California. You talking about the location? Yeah. Will the location of this finance be in California? Clear and shield your energy. Father, husband, brother, son. Nurture yourself. Oh. Clear and shield your energy. Listen to what they're saying. Clear and shield your energy. Father, husband, brother, son. Nurture yourself. So this is saying, I mean, once you let this person go completely, like, once he signed the divorce papers, you're gonna rack in some money. Do your research. Okay. okay. Now, is this husband, this ex-husband that you want to let go, is he is he well off or something? No. He's not. He was abusive. No. Why? So why are you? If he was abusive, why are they saying your money is attached to letting him go? I don't know. Is the new dude? Is the new dude military or something? No. So then it can't come from military and they're not in California. But they saying you you do the research 
your money is gonna come when you let this guy go. No, I just need to figure out where. To I, I'm surprised you don't know what you've been researching. I granted the number, the letter one. I meant the word one. Uh, Eno spelled backwards is one. I understand that, but I'm surprised you can't remember what you've been striking on them computer keys. You done the research. I probably have and just don't remember it. Well, I think you should. I think you should check your history and see if you went on any treasury websites, any grant websites, or something, because that could be linked to it. Once, if you're a single mother or a single person, you get better grants than if you're married. I mean, I really want you to think outside the box here. Okay. But it's a, you, it's a good job. You got a great time coming to you. Okay. All right. Now we're going to go over here to your third ancestor. Your third ancestor is another fire card. Your third ancestor represented by the eight of fire in the upside down position. Now, spirit, now this this card right here, this ancestor is really, how can I put it? They they kind of being like nonchalant. They saying if you you can you can step down from the bullshit, you can step back from the bullshit, but you really shouldn't. Only if you get axed to. Uh -huh. And I don't know what they're talking about, but they say if you get axed to, then you say, okay, I'll step down from a position, from somewhere, from a contract. But if they don't ask you to step down, why are you playing the backfield? Why are you slowing down your progress on anything? <sighs> Do you know what they're talking about? No, I have no clue. Spirit, can you be more specific? Spirit, be more specific. Be more specific. Detach from drama. Got it. Oh. Find a blessing in your current situation. And priorities. That's I'm telling. Spirit, I don't understand why she So what what do your let me help you out. Roll it back, Spirit. What is your daily activities like? From the time you get up in the morning, from the time you go to sleep. Just give me a quick, quick talk about it. Quick synopsis is I wake up, you know, use the bathroom, brush my teeth, and watch TV. Then that's pretty much it. And then um, sometimes I go with my friend who's having problems right now. So you go with your friend who's having problems. Mm -hmm. This female friend? Yeah. Okay. Now, helping this friend get through her problem. Helping, uh -huh. helping this friend get through her problem. Yep. Have she told you to back down yet? No, not yet. Is she sitting up here kind of like ciphering out that you don't want that she don't want your help? No, she she keeps asking me for help, but I back down because that's marital, you know. Well, spirit just said. If somebody asks you to back out, then you back out. I don't see why you're backing out. That's why it's confusing me. Uh, also, the cards it can't, it can't detach from drama. Find the yeah, blessing. Getting she, she uh -huh. just got a lot of. I'm sorry, she didn't have a lot of drama. So find the blessing. In, you need to find the blessing in your current situation. And then they said it's a priority. So it's a priority that you help this person, but it's a priority that you start looking at your life. I'm just going to flip it out. The ancestors said what they said, okay. but I'm going to give you some advice. Waking okay. up, watching television, and going to help another fucking person get their life together while your ass riding away is not a life. This is no life. And Spirit is showing me all of this good stuff, all of this good stuff, all of this good stuff, but you can't remember what you've done to achieve this good stuff. That's a problem. So I'm gonna ask. I'm always putting everybody else. It's okay. It's okay to put everybody else first, and I understand that that scenario. I've been there. I've done that. My thing is putting everybody else first is an outside event. What are you, 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 doing to make your life better? Can you remember typing down on some keys, finding some money? If you're sitting at home all day and you're not working. That means you're on some form of disability. You got some finances coming yeah, in. Yeah, I am on, I'm on disability. 
if your money is linked to your ex-husband money, then they're going to give you a certain amount. But if you can show divorce papers, your money go up because it's a one income now. You see, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I see what you're saying. Spirit is trying to tell you, you found research, you found evidence, you found something that's going to increase your money. You just got to let something go. You got to let the father, husband, brother, son go. Clear and shit your inner. Now that's on the second house. Then the third. Okay. They're sitting up there saying, don't, I mean, don't stop unless you're asked to when it comes to assisting somebody. So, don't you back up from assisting this person. You would keep assisting until she say stop. And when she say stop, then you back up. But you're just worrying about too much drama stuff to focus on you. Yeah. And that's the big issue. Because these ancestors is coming a long way to tell you some great news. And you don't even see what they try. What You don't even see what they see that you've done. Sometimes I, 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 I asked Spirit, okay, what is my purpose? And I haven't, it's like, they get mad at me when I start asking those questions. So, let's ask Spirit right now. So ask Spirit, what is your purpose right now? Let's see what he can say. Okay, Spirit, what is my purpose? Spirit, what is her purpose? Energy healing. What is her purpose? Go now. What is her purpose? Spiritual laws of attraction. Your purpose is just what this third ancestor said. Your purpose is to keep moving forward to assist somebody until they say stop. That's it. Your purpose is okay. to counsel, assist. Now, now that you know your purpose, can we get away from asking spirit what is your purpose so you can focus on life now? Yeah, okay. That's what that exercise is for. I'm going to help you. Okay. Now you ain't got to act so t you repeat to me what's your purpose? What did the spirit just say your purpose was? My purpose is to help assist people in life. Counsel. Bam. Done deal. You know your purpose. Let's not bring that up to spirit no more. Okay? Um, I, well, I'm not. Now, let's, I'm going to leave this one alone because at these three ancestors are giving you some good stuff. You just got to find it. All right, now we're going to go over here to your fourth ancestor. Your fourth ancestor is recognized by the air element in the upright position. Uh, this ancestor is, I want to say it's a little girl, about 10, 11, 10, 11, 12. Okay. And she says she can't talk. She keeps saying, like, nobody give her a chance to talk. Nobody listened to her. So she used to tell a lot of lies or spread rumors. Now, she tell you, there's a lot of lies going on around you that's keeping you confused. It's not about you're really being confused. Somebody is saying, hey, even a little lie like this, and, and God forgive me, and I'm so mad that you're going through this. Some person can sit up there and say, I'll come see you today. And when that person don't come see you, that's your day. That's your whole fucking mindset. Why you couldn't come see me? What's wrong with me? What happened? I need to know. And that'll throw your whole day off. But Spirit is saying this: these lies that surround you, this is a cause of you with the memory loss and the not focusing. Wow. And I think I know where that little girl is. If I'm, if I'm not making any sense, you please, you ain't got to accept what the Spirit is oh, saying. Oh, no, no. I'm, I'm really thinking that that's the little girl that I lost. Oh, you I'm lost? Yeah. And she would be about 12. Well, she's saying you can't get distracted. No more. She's saying that type of shit throw you off. The littlest type of shit throw you off. And she's saying that she don't understand why. Because I'm always, I'm always doing, I'm always doing something. And then I forget what I'm doing. And it makes it. It, drive, it makes me start crazy. Right. That's what she said. Now, do you want to ask her a question? Yes. Go ahead. It, it, so, because when I see her, she, it's like she's always dancing around. Like she's happy, I guess. Okay. So, um, I, I guess the question is, is she really happy? Uh, are you happy? 
Are you happy? What's going on? Are you happy? You can do it. Are you happy? Release tension. Are you happy? She said freedom. She said you can do it. Release tension and freedom. Yes, yeah, she's happy and she's willing to help you. Why don't you call her and say, "Hey, hold the negativity at the door. Hold my hand when I go when I'm when I get out the shower. Make me feel warm and love." How about you tell her to move sticky notes around and remind you turn power buttons on. Why don't you ask this person to help you when you go on the internet? Have an image of a little girl pop up there. You know, have her do something. Go in the machine style. She's saying she'll help you if you're willing. But her whole thing is you're missing so much research that you're doing. Whether you're watching TikTok on the phone, whether you're doing something, information is coming up and you research that and then it out your head it goes. Yeah. And I have one more question for her. Go ahead. Um, is it, is it, um, is it too, too late to have that feminine, feminine energy to come back to me? I'm Need to have another child. Okay, because I happen to say I'm confused. What you 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 got male energy? <laughs> no. <laughs> so you want another child? You want me to ask her? Is it possible for another child to come? Yeah. Is it possible for another child to come here? See the truth. Yeah. Wow. Take charge of the situation. Yeah. Meditate. Crystal, take charge of the situation and meditate. Sure, you can manifest another okay. baby. Are you, are you doing? Are you active? No, not. I haven't. It's been not. It's been long overdue. I just put it like this. Hold on, no, hold on. No. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me mess with you a little bit in a joke. Spirit, am I gonna have a baby? Sure, you're gonna have a baby. Are you screwing? No. <laughs> Are you planning to screw? Maybe. Yeah. How are you going to get this baby? In vitro fertilization? No. You're going to do it the old fashioned way? Yeah. Now don't call your daughter a lie. I'm <laughs> And nine years is too damn long. Oh my God. Spirit. I'm telling you business. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. God for... That's too long. I'm laughing because that's exactly how long it's been. Oh my God. I'm the real deal, people. Oh. Yeah, I know. That's what I mean by spirit. Just, just straight through that in on in there. Okay. Start back going at it, doing your thing, and a baby gonna pop up. It's time, okay? Okay. All right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> now we gotta go over here to your fifth ancestor. Your fifth. Okay, here we go with the makeup. No wonder. When you gonna put on make? Oh, now nah, I get it. Now we gotta go over here to your fifth ancestor. Uh. This right here is a woman. She's represented your, okay. by your guardian angel. And she's okay. saying she's pouring out of herself to pour into you. Okay? Mm -hmm. So this ancestor okay. here is coming back to give you energy. Give you some kind of feminine energy, feminine this and that. Her message to you is to come out of the closet, dress your ass up, put on makeup, and look good. So they're telling you to go get your man. Go do something. Step out. I've been, I've been shy because of the, 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 because of the, after their brief relationship. Oh, I thought you were going to say pandemic. Uh-uh. No, not the pandemic. Nah, he was abusive. He told me I couldn't wear makeup. I couldn't wear flip-flops. Flip-flops, okay? What the fuck? Uh, yeah. So he had a, he had a, a decent lady. Decent looking. Decent shape. And you need to wear a sheet. Yeah. A sheet. I had to be full of clothes. Like, I could not wear anything that had, like, my, my, my boots out or anything. Like, I had to be plain Jane. With combat boots on because he didn't want you to wear sandals. Nope. No sandals. I had to wear tennis. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's, that's why I'm telling you. We had, I had the fifth party of every day. Jeez. And I had to leave that relationship. Only, only in, in, only in Botswana can you see some shit like this. Cause I'd be damn. So you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Man, my lady look good, baby. Show off the curve. Hell, you, you, you just got your toes done and you put on anchor bracelet on. Put that bitch up on the dashboard of the car. Let the other people see. I'm petty like that. That's ego. <laughs> Show it off. Yeah, and I have a quick question if I can ask. Please ask, because I want to punch this man. <laughs> okay. I, am I supposed to be on a spiritual journey? Because I've been reading um, the, 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 um, the book about Europa. Okay, so are you supposed to be on the Europa spiritual journey or a spiritual journey? Yeah, that's what I'm asking. No, here. you got to be specific. Uh, on a spiritual journey. Okay. Spirit, she wants to know is by her taking this spiritual route, is she doing the right thing? Twin flame, I love it. It's a definite reflection of you. Follow your heart, I love it. See the other person's point of view. Yes, yes, yes. Any form of spirituality you be, you decide to work with, whether it's the Yoruba practice. Rather, it's uh -huh. the Kabbalah practice. Rather, it's Hindu. Spirit say, as long as you get yourself some spirituality, you are okay. Okay, my last question that I have for Spirit. I have someone that, the Spirit guide that I see, who is, I think, part Indian, part, part white. Is that my Spirit guide or... or who is ancestors? Help her out. Who is this part Indian, part white fellow, or person, or entity? Retreat into nature. Focus upon your strength. And teach. That's your teacher. That's your teacher to get you on how to heal yourself. Plant based medicine. That's your teacher. Teacher. Oh, wow. Focus upon your strength and retreat to nature. The half white, half Indian, and they not half white. By the way, okay, they're just brightly colored. Now, uh, the first three cards, I'm I'm a little upset at because you didn't get that there, but the last two, I'm enjoying them. So all this is a really good read, but they just want you to start focusing on your stuff. And if you have a memory problem, and I'm just gonna ask, if you have any kind of lapse in memory, I think you need to get a foot pad. I mean, a notepad. And just write down certain things you, that come to your mind that you work on and post it up or put it by there so you can take a look at it. Okay, because I used to write poetry and I stopped writing. Because I didn't like what I was writing. That's the hell, that's the best part. When you start talking about the dark shit, the dark shit, or, the, or somebody throwing a, a, a goat on top of a roof during a hot storm and 10 minutes later a hurricane come get it. That's that's cool. It's, it's been, I mean, I used to write poetry. I, I still have some some stuff that I found that I haven't. I'm gonna do a book, and I'm not sure if I should do it. That's what I've been kind of chicken about. Let Let's ask Spirit. Do you want to do a book? Ask Spirit. Should you do a book? Okay, Spirit. Shall I do a book? Spirit. Should she do a book? Purification. Should she do a book? Flow of prosperity. Spirit, should she do a book? <sighs> Let it go. Purification. Flow, go. No, purification. Mm -hmm. Flow of prosperity. Let the BS go. Okay. You've been so researching. You're telling me stop, stop being scary. Yes, you've been researching how to do a book. You discovered something. Oh my God. It all yeah. come back, spirit. She, damn it. It all come back to her. So you've been researching how to publish your book lately? Yeah, I have. And you found like I did that. that maybe like three months ago. I, I was trying to do research. And spirit said, you, do it. And spirit say you got to, because you did research, you're going to find. You found out something that's going to net you some money. Come on. This is what the ancestors were telling you. You know what? 
ancestors, I'm sorry for not listening. It's all good. We're going to get you right. You're dealing with the Baron. Yeah, and I, I just, I'm wondering, because I don't know, I because I've been seeing Yima, um, Yimaya a lot. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's that about. I don't know if that's because I'm, I'm in need of conflict because I just lost my mom recently in February. Okay, let's see about that uh, because we almost over time. We, well, we are over time. But ask one oh, more I'm question. Sorry. No, ask one more question. Okay. Why is Yemaya coming to me? Yemaya, why do you feel the need to come to her? Talk. Open your heart to love. Oh, she's saying forgiveness. You got to forgive your mother. That's a big issue. She's saying, she's telling you yes, to open your is. heart for love and just forgive your mother. That's the only reason she's coming to you. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. Okay. That was a wonderful reading. You fought me, but I'll beat you up later. <laughs> oh, but thank you so much. No problem. Listen, get to writing that book. Do everything you can. Your daughter come back and say write the book. Your ancestor telling you oh. going to make good money because you did the research. You know what you got to do. Come on now. Get out there. And now that you ain't got this man, put on some makeup and get your ass out there. You know what? I will go get my toes done. Throw an anchor bracelet on them, but on both ankles. How about that? Not just one. And I will walk and down I'm, with. And then I'm thinking, and then I used to make jewelry, so I'm thinking I'm gonna back making my jewelry. Man, all this stuff you can do now that you're free. I will walk down Fifth Avenue with my toes and 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 calf muscle, muscles and ankles out. If I was a woman going down there showing off, oh boy, y'all women, <laughs> do your thing. <laughs> all right, thank you, man. All right, yeah, you're good. You too. Bye bye. Oh. Alright everybody. Sometimes people just need a little push there and that's crazy. She's so caught up in helping other people and worrying about other people uh tragic mess, drama, that she's overlooking all the gifts and the and the stuff that spirit laying out on the table for her and we all guilty of that, believe me. And we gotta stop doing that, people. We gotta think about us first. When it comes to our personal survivor, survival and happiness. And then we think about other people. Hit that like button, positive comments below. Alright everybody, I'm the Baron telling you guys to trust the UN universe. Because at the end of the day, you all you got. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all. So we'll try. What the hell? Alright, let me throw some Florida water on my hand before I touch on these cards, okay? All right, we're going to be doing you, who is my Arisha guy to me at the moment reading. Keep in mind, I am not crowning you. I'm just telling you the headspace that you're in. Uh, the energy, I should say. Okay? Yes, sir. All right. So, disclaimer, as you know, I'm a direct energy reader. Don't believe in reading zodiac signs or birthdays. Be open with the spirit and have fun. Really try to listen to their message. The way it works, I'm going to deal 13 cards. The first Arisha to pop out in no 13 card, that's Arisha that's over your head space at the moment. I deal 10 cards. The first Arisha to pop out in those uh, 10 cards, that's the Arisha that's over your actions. Then I deal 7 cards. Pay close attention to that one because that one typically don't change. That's the Arisha that's going to be over your destiny, okay? Now, I want you to say your first name so I can pray over the cards. Do I have permission to cut your cards? Yeah. All right. Let's start with the first 13. One, two, three, four. All right. You have Oshun uh, coming off the fourth card. That's over your uh, headspace at the moment. One, two, three, four, five. You have Elegba over your actions at the moment. One, two, three. And then you have Eko over your destiny. 
All right, let's get into it. So first, we're gonna start with your the reach that's over your head space at the moment. This is why you think the way you think, speak the way you speak, hear the way you hear. This is all about your perception of things. In this house, you have Oshun, and if you know anything about Oshun, she's love. Yeah, I love it. I'm just, I'm just talking. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. No, that's just a rhetorical question. Uh, She's about love, passion, uh, romance, uh, making babies, uh, seduction. And she's over your headspace at the moment. And what she's telling me, she's saying this whole catering to someone on a seduction level, she say, is this really what you want to do? If this is really how you want to start this relationship off? Or you want to continue this relationship with catering? just to get somebody to see you in an adoring moment. Do you understand what she's talking about? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Do you really wanna? Because you know you set the standard, right? Yeah. Would you like to ask her a question? Um, should I stop? Like, should I leave that person alone? To it. Spirit. Oh, she, should she leave the person alone? You ask her, this is what she really want to do. Do you see something she should know about this person? Should she leave the person alone? Go now. Jesus Christ, oh, she be tactful. Positive change. Listen. Yeah, she said, leave this, this person alone. Go now. It'll be a positive change. And listen, don't be hard headed. Get out of this situation, what you're into. You're setting this shit up to be a certain way. This person will begin to kick your ass later on down the line if this person don't have it that way. So she's telling you to get out now. What she? Oh God, help me! I'm sorry, sister. What she's saying also is this person will be forcefully taking your 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 body whenever they get ready to. Cause she she showed me a swollen flower, and you don't have to be a saint to understand what she's talking about. Okay. But you know, but do you know what she's saying? Do that person have those kind of tendencies that you think in moving in the future that you're gonna give me this shit or what else? I can see it going that way. Yeah. Like she's she's warning you. So don't set the president and don't let this be the end all be all. Okay. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna go over here to your second Arisha. This is Arisha that's over your action this is why you do the things you do move the way you move react to the way you react in this area right here you have elect bar having elect bar in this house elect bar it, well if you know anything about elect bar he's the heavenly gatekeeper he's a heavenly door opener road opener he's the, who you call to close the doors of your mind the windows of your mind all that good stuff now he's saying in your action you are dreaming about bigger better things bigger better opportunities grander pastures his problem with this dream that you're doing is you may have your body in the game, but he said your head isn't in the game. Yeah, that's true. So why did yeah. he why did he separate your head from your body with this thought process? Um, it's a lot going on that a lot going on in my personal life and I I don't know if what I want to do will be a com will be will it will accommodate like if I could fit in the life with my kids. So that's where I teeter taught back and forth between if I have five kids, six, four, three, two and one, what I want to do requires a lot of time and I have a lot of little kids and I don't know if they'll fit in their schedule. Okay. So, but why did he say your body is in the game, but your head is not? That's your head not being in the game because you got responsibilities. You're thinking about the stuff you have to do, but your body is where you want to be at. Again, I need you to, he's asking this question for a reason. I need you to focus on why is your body in the game? Or let's, then let me change it up. Are you exercising to look a certain way for your future? Are you detoxing? Are you turning vegan or some shit you know what I'm saying your body is in the game 
but your your body is where you want to you're getting your body to the point where you want to be for show but your head ain't there yet I'm not sure then I mean I am doing all those things so I'm then, not sure if you're doing all those things what is your reason for you doing all of those things because I want to be a businesswoman eventually so I want to look apart I want to look a third way I want to be healthy on the inside. I wanna, you know, I wanna be able to be here for a long time and not fix anything in my body. So I wanna be, I wanna be healthy. You know, I wanna so, be for, I wanna for my kids and stuff. So again, he's saying your body is there, but your mind isn't. You wanna be a businesswoman. You wanna look the part. But you saying I can't do it because I got these kids. I'm, I'm, I reason why I broke it down like that because I want you to see where you're at. Now you're gonna have to come together with this. You're going to have to align both of these things up. You're going to put your head and your body together, okay? Would you like to ask this card a question? Um, no, I think I got it. I like that. All right, now we're going to go over here to your third Arisha. This Arisha right here is over your destiny at the moment. This is why... Excuse me. Oh, hey, horse boy, got it. This is this is typically where you're gonna end up. So um, spirit is saying you're about to let something go. When I say about to let something go, they told me you're about to give up the farm, or you want to give up the farm, because they showed me a bunch of cows, uh, hay, straw, barn. Now that could mean two things. When I break it down in division, are you trying to? Are you saying you want to let somebody else? watch the kids and you go off and do your thing you're about to give up the barn or you're you're a farmer and you just say shit I don't want to do this no more um it could pop I I would say the second one like I like I said I do teeter top back and forth if I really want to move forward with my business um or not um that's really a lot that I I go back and forth with if I really want to like jump off the stage and, and go forward head on with all of this. So that's something that sits on my mind a lot. So basically you're saying, so we can keep our parent card, you're basically saying something, you need a little help. You want somebody to take come in, take over a little bit so you can focus better on getting you to this next point. Even watch the kids while you go back to school. I get it. I'm trying to help you see what, what Spirit is telling you. All right, now, what Eco is saying, Eco is saying you need to be strategic. If you can't let all the kids go, let the little ones go. Get a babysitter. Relieve your hand a little bit. Once you, it's your destiny to allow somebody to watch these kids, to nurture these kids while you do this, because it's your destiny to do this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Would you like to ask her a question? Um, well, no, I got it. <laughs> no, I got that one. It's clear. <laughs> uh, all right. That was one of the quickest Arisha readings I ever had. Uh, how do you feel? I feel good. I mean, got what I wanted. You know, came in with what my mindset was going to be. Came in out to be a friend. Came out to be a friend. I thought it was going to be. I feel good, though. I mean, somewhere to start. That's really what I'm looking for. Something to start with and so I can move forward, get further into my journey. So that's really why I, I booked my meeting today, for today. Okay, I can appreciate that. So, listen, I enjoyed you. This is pretty flat out simple, and I'm going to say congratulations. Once you get that daycare thing locked up or get you somebody to take care of them kids, you are going to be super duper awesome on this. Yeah, I do appreciate that. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to move forward and do what I got to do and just stop teeter-tottering, do what I need to do, and get it off the ground. And whenever you get your business, you can always email the Baron and say, Hey, Baron, I got my business posted on your page for your charge. I don't mind. There's money out here. We got to eat. You absolutely right. I still want to keep you in mind. All right, then, darling. Well, you have your great one. All right, you too. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody. Honestly, that was one of the quickest readings. I'm going to have to put make this a third, too. That was one of the quickest readings I ever did. She... She came then hot, blazing. She understood what she needed, then fight. She took the message and she said, okay. She asked a question. Spirit unlocked something. I loved it. This was an excellent reading. It
positive comments below. All right, everybody, I'm the Baron, telling you guys to trust you in the universe, because at the end of the day, you all you got. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all. Soul Tribe.